The fastest way of improving your Python skills in any meaningful way is to start a programming project alongside following tutorials on the core language and its standard library. There's much advice on this out there. Almost everyone agrees that starting and having a coding project is really useful in developing competence and confidence in Python or any other language for that matter, but it's all too easy to get bad advice. The project you take on should be something you are genuinely interested in and whose end product you can see yourself using and building upon. Here's my very quick advice for finding and tackling such a project and some ideas to get you started. Whatever the core idea is, you can always get started as a beginner and you can always incrementally build on your work to go hand in hand with your increasing advanced competence. To put it another way, you can adapt your approach to the project in order to reap the greatest reward. Project number one, create a PDF splitter and joiner. If you've never done a project before, this is great because you introduce yourself to the argpass standard library. If you're a bit more advanced, you might take a look at Click, a popular third-party library. Introduce yourself to asking the right questions of Stack Overflow, what the best Python library for handling PDF files is. There's the element of the core application logic, how you're going to take a user's input and convert it into a page range that's appropriate for the PDF library. Going one step further, you can introduce a graphical user interface with tkinter or wx. Introduce yourself and the application to logging with the extremely well-written Python documentation or having an option to send the logs to a database, adding WebSocket support and implementing a system such that that multiple PDF splitter and joiner clients that you've created can communicate with a central logging server, and so on. Web scraping is always a great way to start. I've found the Scrapey library to be very good as a teaching method. It could very well be your first introduction to a yield statement. If you haven't had any exposure to HTML, CSS selectors, and cross-path selectors, then it gives you an opportunity, an integrated one, to understand all of these technologies in a more holistic manner and just for private educational purposes you can take a look at scraping some questions and answers from the Stack Overflow website. Implementing a pipeline such that you put the results in a PostgreSQL database through an object relational mapper. If you're looking for a really good challenge and something that will really elevate your Python capability in jobs, you won't just be writing code from scratch. You'll first need to understand all the code that's been written before you. A really good third party library that I recommend reading the source code of is Flask. If you have a few projects under your belt and you're a strong intermediate learner, then I would strongly recommend deciding to dissect the Flask source code. It's well written. It's clean code, it plays a huge role in the Python and web ecosystem as a whole, and you will learn many lessons that transfer across well to making other libraries and web technologies easier to pick up when the time comes. Furthermore, you will have a great understanding of how to structure your Python code. That's all from me today, but like I said, a very quick one. I hope these few short minutes give food for thought, and I look forward to seeing you in a forthcoming tutorial where we can go through one such project together.